right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Say ...for him here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Turku, Finland, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, the Eraser. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to Ready. Ready to fight. All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this one? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Beautiful strike. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, you heard it bad with the jab. Clutch the shot. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, he engages in a single follow tie here. Nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, 
Oh, just misses with the kick. Trying to kick the leg out. And just misses with that big right hand. Trying to go to the body now with the kick out. One misses. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. And he's back up. Nice kick. Right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big ball for Russell Lance. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. A oh, little single collar tie there, and they separate. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Punch no good. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighter right. can't take too many of those strikes. Checks that leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to they do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Great punch landing with so much power. Big power shots landing. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. That's a big strike right there. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. 
Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Big kick. Oh, wow! Head kick. Good stick. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a body kick. Blocks that strike. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. with a right. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he caught the kick. Checks the leg kick. Beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Big kick land. You got to check these low leg kicks. He's able to slip the left there. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. 15 seconds. Seconds winding down in round two. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when they came together and you saw the skill level. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. And there comes the separation now. Straight right hand, no good. Throws the right hand there. Oh, a huge block there. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice slip to avoid the left. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect.
what a punch. All right, single collar tie now. Massive head kick. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, massive head kick there, we'll see if he can finish. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Three, two, three. Nice. Pretty good right hand. Strong defense there to block the shot. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Got the single collar tie. Big punch from the clinch. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Stuffs the ball. This might just be a matter of time. Oh, nice. Wow. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem with the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing the opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this cool space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. You saw him work his submission game a bit in the previous round, and he is all offense, man. He's not afraid to get into a bad position to try to close them. Most times, you don't see guys that attack as much off of their back. This guy, you never have any place to rest. to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie.
Straight right, he misses. Good punch lands. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. And back to his feet. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Three minutes to go in the round. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. Whoa! Oh, big diving punch lands up top. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here, staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Back to his feet. Beautiful kick. Just missed with the left there. Visibly limping here. Oh, collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Big leg kick land. Under a minute now to go. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Punch over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Big kick land. Ten seconds to go. Caught that kick there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Stop, stop, stop. Why don't we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Nice punch lands. Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. And they separate. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch. That's it! Yo, wow! That was nasty! Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest at 51 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO! Now, what a win for that young man tonight by TKO, and if the judges were looking at their phones, it's okay, we don't need the scorecards. We don't need the scorecards. Do as you may, proceed as you may, because <laughs> this guy knew that he had to finish this fight. That's exactly what he did. He got his opponent hurt, found the follow-up shot, and